Good morning, Year 5, and welcome back to our virtual classroom and our first reading lesson on here. Today's lesson, and the few to follow this one, are all going to focus on finding the main idea of a text. That just means finding out what the text is mostly about. We've done this before, but we're going to um, refresh our skills and make sure that we're experts at it. Let's get started. Here's our practice text. I'm going to go through this one with you and remind you of the ways that we can identify the main idea of a text. Now you might remember from school that we said the title often offers us clues. So does the first sentence of a text, the last sentence of a text, and usually there's an idea or word that gets repeated throughout the whole thing and that kind of lets us know what the whole text is mostly about. Let's have a read and see if we spot anything. Beautiful butterflies. Have you ever just watched a butterfly float around, its wings gracefully fluttering? The butterfly's beauty and amazing transformation seem to capture our imagination and make us wonder at this amazing little insect. A butterfly begins its life cycle as a caterpillar, a long worm-like creature covered with tiny spine-like hairs and a pattern of stripes or patches. The caterpillar sheds its skin four or more times before creating a cocoon around itself. During this stage, we call the creature a chrysalis. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar's body tissues break down and new parts are formed. Finally, the transformation is complete and a beautiful butterfly comes out. The adult butterfly finds a mate and lays eggs on leaves and stems. Often the butterfly migrates or travels to a new location to lay its eggs. These little eggs will soon hatch and new little caterpillars will begin the cycle again. Well, something I noticed as I was reading is that the text starts out sounding like it's going to be about how beautiful butterflies are, kind of like the, the title suggests, because it keeps saying that it's um, beauty and amazing transformation seem to capture our imagination. So I thought, oh, it's going to be all about how pretty they are. It's going to talk about their patterns and like what their wings look like. And then it seemed to switch. Notice that it goes into talking about its life cycle. It starts as a caterpillar, then it sheds its skin, creates a cocoon around itself. It's called a chrysalis at that point. Then it creates new body parts and comes out of the cocoon as a butterfly. Then the adult butterfly lays eggs and those eggs are, become caterpillars and the whole thing starts all over again. So the majority of the text from about the, let's see what sentence it was. First sentence wasn't about that second sentence. From the third sentence all the way down to the end, it was all about how caterpillars turn into a cocoon, which is a chrysalis, which turns into a butterfly that lays eggs, and then the whole thing starts again. All of that is the life cycle of a butterfly. So in this case, I found that the title was a little bit misleading. It made me think it was going to be about something slightly different. But after reading the text, I realized that the main idea, what the text is mostly about, is the life cycle of butterflies. These are the questions that came on the back of the card, the same one called Beautiful Butterflies. Question one, what is the main idea of this passage? It gives us some options. A, what butterflies eat, B, the life cycle of a butterfly, and C, how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I know right away A could not possibly be the answer because it has nothing to do with what butterflies eat. It barely even mentions it if it mentions it at all. B and C though are quite similar. B, the life cycle of a butterfly. I saw that word cycle I think twice in the text. C, how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly. Well it does talk a lot about how caterpillars um, create cocoons and then turn into butterflies but I have to pick between these two. And I would say C is a little bit too narrow. The text goes into even more detail than just how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly. It's talking about the entire life of a butterfly, right from it being a caterpillar to becoming a butterfly and then laying eggs and the cycle starting again. I feel like that word cycle is very important. So in this case, I would pick B. It's the life cycle of a butterfly. And the fact that I saw the word cycle in the text is the biggest clue for me. Number two, what happens inside the cocoon? 
A, the caterpillar lays eggs. B, the caterpillar sheds its skin four or more times. C, the caterpillar's body tissues break down and new parts are formed. Well, to answer a question like this, I recommend you go back to the text. So, stop the video right here, go back, have a read. What happens inside of the cocoon? Then you're going to come back to this spot and let's see the answer. The answer? C. The caterpillar's body tissues break down and new parts are formed. Now what about question three? A butterfly begins its life cycle as A. A caterpillar B. A chrysalis C. An adult butterfly Well, one of them obviously is not the answer. I don't think anything begins as an adult, so I could just say C could not possibly be the answer. So the, an the answer is either A, a caterpillar, or B, a chrysalis. Well, it begins its life cycle as a blank. Let's go back to the text and see what it tells us. So pause, go back, and then come back to the spot. Did you find the answer? I hope you weren't just waiting for me to tell you. Really, go back and find it. Okay, the answer? A caterpillar. When it hatches from its egg, it's a caterpillar. Later on it becomes a chrysalis and then eventually an adult butterfly. Now that you've gotten some practice with me, I want you to read this card titled The Postage Stamp independently, and then you're going to answer the questions on the back of the card. Pause the video here, read the text, and in a moment I'll flip the card so that you can answer the questions. You'll copy the questions into your notebook and write out the answer, please. You don't have to write all three options, A, B, and C. You can simply write the correct one.